Uh, namaskar friends, uh, welcome you in this episode of Authors and Books, uh, where we have uh, today with us uh, Rahul Tivari uh, ji, and uh, uh, we will be talking about his book, The Puritan Movement, uh, US Universities and Their Anti-Bharat Approach. It's as interesting as the book is as interesting as the title suggests. And uh, thank you so uh, much, Rahul ji, for giving us time. And uh, uh, Rahul ji, if I give uh, his introduction, he's uh, working on conflict reporting with the emphasis on uh, Russian-Ukraine war and uh, uh, deducing uh, strategic policy options for government of India. His work has been published in many international journals. So uh, and he were he has written for think tanks also his work for in the field of national security, uh, and uh, his interest areas are media, technology, security, and defense. And to top it all, he is a doctoral candidate at the National Center for National Security Studies at Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. So this is the book. And today we are going, we'll be discussing about it. So uh, without, uh, you know, waiting further, uh, uh, let's start with the basic first question. What is exactly the Puritan movement and uh, how this idea of writing a book on, you know, this kind of a topic came to you? Yes, ma'am. So I think that first of all, uh, is pay, uh, that idea of you know writing this book is pay, chota se mein comment kar deta hon. so post 2020 uh, yeah, post 19 I would say uh, I was uh, looking after various uh, institutions I used to you know go through with their uh, reports and other kind of uh, narrative things uh, on which they have discussed uh, on which they used to write various reports articles and other kind of documents they used to publish on their you know uh, websites and uh, many a times we have seen how their faculty members or uh, uh, intellectuals associated with these universities are part, basically part of such uh, you know reports or uh, uh, such anti india i would say propagandist uh, you know ecosystem so basically uh, it was 2020 uh, during lockdown period when uh, i was uh, when, when the whole world was stuck into their own homes so during that time uh, many anti india reports and uh, articles you know uh, just flooded around us uh, for, particularly from the western uh, mainstream uh, media and uh, from the west i would say particularly the United States, UK, and uh, in particular, if I quote uh, several e media agencies like Reuters, AP, AFP. So the quest for uh, for the quest for basically such anti-India activities made me to think more and more, and uh, ultimately took me to this Puritan movement. So usually, kya hota ki when I used to discuss. Uh, this particular topic, it is very difficult for me to, <laughs> at some times it is difficult for me to, you know, uh, convince public what it is about and uh, what is, why it is, uh, you know, associated uh, with uh, India, what are the reasons behind it. And sometimes I have seen, I have, you know, met with various uh, intellectuals belonging to uh, this uh, arena of United States or America or the experts on these, uh, you know, uh, on such uh, Western uh, arena. So it is also very difficult for me uh, to convince them about their anti-social and anti-India role. So it was basically, as I said, during the beginning of uh, COVID-19, uh, when uh, India was also part of it, you know, it, uh, it, it was facing a, a kind of natural disaster, not, not natural, the man-made disaster, I would say, because there are certain reports, I, I don't want to go into it. But yes, definitely, there are uh, um, uh, the reports made me, you know, go into it deeper and deeper. So uh, I used to think from where such reports are coming in, uh, into it. 
and uh, what are the reasons behind uh, the anti-India propaganda into the West? So when I was uh, digging into this particular uh, anti-India narrative, which basically you know became a part of my uh, um, PhD synopsis and will be de definitely the thesis one in the near future. So this uh, this particular issue made me to think more, and I when I, when I uh, dug into uh, such issues, I found that uh, the universities are basically playing major role behind such anti-India, anti-Hindu narratives. And uh, again, uh, there was a question in my mind: Why are they anti-India? Why are they you know playing? a negative role uh, as far as India and Hindus are concerned, why they want to corner Indians and Hindus in particular, I would say. So when I uh, uh, started you, uh, researching on this particular, uh, the role of the universities and why are they anti-India, I found there are certain actors and uh, there was a certain move movement, which was basically the Puritan movement. And uh, again, you know, coordinating it with India is a, was a task for me. Because whenever I was going through various literatures, I found that uh, most of most uh, at most of the platforms, the literature with regard to Puritans were very you know uh, lovey dovey type. It was uh, very positive, and uh, the movement uh, uh, appears to be reformist one. Yeah. So what is wrong about it? So the very you know early stage of this movement has its own answer. Uh, the movement basically started with a. On, on, on various media portals uh, and also on various think tanks and various uh, uh, open source um, uh, you know portals it would appear that the movement started as a kind of protest against the was started in the um, Church of England and uh, there were also uh, certain notions that they were not happy with the judge who was you know, ruling the chain at that time. But, you know, uh, when I uh, started uh, understanding this notion with Indian perspective or uh, being a deconstructive uh, researcher, I found that it was a political movement, not a reformist one, which has always been portrayed as a uh, reformist movement, but it was a way political and way radical movement. It could be uh, in in a better understanding, it could be related to the one you know any of the jihadist movement. <laughs> or the jihadist movement, bolunga to definitely thoda relate ho paega. Because the uh, in the beginning the movement says that uh, uh, that uh, this movement was uh, the movement of pures. It talks about salvation, purity, etc., etc. But, you know, many a times if you interview any of the jihadists, uh, he would say that uh, definitely we are uh, moving in the, uh, you know, uh, name of Allah. We are doing better for, uh, you know, for the humanity. They, they, although they do not use the word humanity, but they used to say that we are doing well, we are doing right, we are on the rightest path. So, similarly, this movement uh, could be compared to the jihadist one. And... Uh, the terminologies that they have used till now should be quotient and uh, they should be uh, their terminology should be quotient and people those who have written their movement puritan uh, movement of pures or those who have termed it re uh, reformists should also be quotient because there are certain anti women anti indigenous anti environment issues associated with their movement so first of all, there were uh, there, there was a movement, uh, not movement. There was a incident that happened, Salem Witch Trial, which is highly anti-women movement. The second one, why it is anti-indigenous? Uh, you know, everybody in academia or not in academia, it is a general perception that everybody knows that uh, they have uh, erased about uh, millions of uh, red Americans or the Native Americans in a matter of two hundred years, and. Uh, in fact, they also, you know, uh, question or discredit the knowledge that is coming through traditions. They are anti-tradition as well. So considering all these points, points like tradition, culture, indigenous, women, environment. So all these things make them anti-India uh, or uh, anti-East as well. So... Uh, 
when uh, uh, in, in a matter of 200 years after the establishment of harvard they erased whole uh, not whole but definitely a good population of red americans after the after the 200 years uh, they created other institutions which basically became part of ivy league universities this ivy league universe uh, the ivy league universities uh, furthered their goal the agenda of uh, cornering any other source of knowledge which was basically i would say the only source i would not say the, say the only source of knowledge but yes bharat has always been prevalent as far as knowledge system is concerned so now you know moving forward when uh, they uh, you know erased a good population of uh, native americans by the means of conversion alluring and other forms of illicit means they started uh, uh, a kind of secularization thing uh, in order to, uh, there was a, a few reasons behind it uh, for, you know, uh, using think, the camouflage of... If I can, uh, yes, I think yes. it was for acceptability. They wanted, the, uh, you know, their ideology to be accepted. So for that, uh, they make up all these things, you know, that... It, is, yes, it yes, was it was a facade. camouflage. Okay. camouflage yeah, yeah. yeah. Th that they used and uh, after uh, probably yes after mid 18 they started uh, involving in various kinds of uh, research and other kinds of things with the uh, obviously there was a intention behind all these research and the intention was not at all positive or the pure i would say the second phase the uh, i mean not the second phase but yes the third phase that comes in the evolution of their uh, uh, movement was the on uh, second world war when the universities became a uh, warehouse for the military during world war ii a military state think tank university professors anything it was acting as a singular entity they use the they are uh, they they, uh, they profess uh, you know academic freedom and all blah 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 but uh, but basically uh, during world war ii they should be questioned and uh, why they why they acted uh, part of this World War II. Secondly, after the GI Bill came into being, universities became hub of these uh, you know war veterans. And uh, post 1952, when Davis Center came into being, it was probably 1952 or 54. I am just uh, you know forgetting this date. So uh, when the Davis Center was established in order to create a perception warfare with regard to Russia in order to study russia with an intent to you know dismantle its population and other kind of things after the 10 years of you know 10 uh, 15 years of uh, the establishment of this davis center at harvard they started you know taking interest in various other parts of the world so you know through with the help of fulbright uh, fellowship they uh, and uh, with the help of various kinds of acknowledgments awards and uh, uh, scholarships they invited various Indians, and not only Indians, but yes, people from various parts of the world. And when when uh, various actors from, you know, particularly if I talk about India, when they went there, some of them became part of it, either willingly or unwillingly. Uh, they could be industrialists, they could be uh, various uh, ministers or uh, intellectuals, etc., etc. And uh, with the help of these actors, uh, and, uh, you know, with the help of these actors and the organizations that were particularly based in Bharat. So they helped them, uh, you know, profess their agenda and, uh, you know, uh, disseminate their vicious uh, part of uh, the Puritan movement, I would say. Uh, yeah, this was about the book and how it is, uh, you know, connected to United States. It is quite interesting, and uh, but there is one thing that I uh, think uh, it comes to my mind. So, did this anti-India or anti-Hindu uh, that narrative is it, it did it started uh, during uh, World War Two uh, or is it a recent recent uh, time? Yes, yes. Uh, so basically, as far as particularly India is concerned, so we have seen how uh, Britishers or the imperialist powers have, you know, uh, created engineered fault lines and on which, you know, various other ac academic studies have been done. Although those studies have never been uh, true to themselves uh, as far as, you know, academia is concerned. 
but uh, yes as far as you know these fault lines the ruptured fault lines of the engineered what that were basically created by the uh, britishers it was i would say we cannot you know uh, separate uh, united state and uk because the we all know that uh, people in united states are basically descendants of most of them are descendants of europe so definitely on various terminologies or on on various issues the abrahamic religions and um, in particular i would say christians uh, uh, the protestants or the uh, catholics they also they have a sim similarity with regard to you know india as far as uh, their um, uh, conversion tactics are concerned so anti india they have always as far as anti india is concerned they have always been anti india so whether it is united states whether it is uk or the uh, other colonial or imperialist or church evangelical powers they have always been anti india there is no doubt about it the second thing how united states involved in anti india or anti hindu activities it was basically in my consideration because i was going through the literature and uh, various mm -hmm. actors those who are basically particularly based in uh, united states i i find very less literature with regard to indian hindus uh, and particularly uh, if if i if i have already mentioned in my book various actors and uh, various studies that have taken place in the united states or people those who have been part of this uh, the universities of the united states it it basically started post 65 because when devi center was established and they created a very good you know perception warfare they were basically successful in doing that so uh, you know you, uh, using the uh, center uh, as the perception warfare tool so they started various other uh, uh, i mean they, they they started various other uh, uh, academic studies with regard to india and hindus themselves and the religions uh, in particular if i would say and um, yeah so as far as you know india is concerned so they they have uh, worked upon it post 1960s i would say in, in my you know perspective yes. okay so it has but it has increased uh, tremendously after 2014 <laughs> definitely definitely when uh, you know narendra modi came into power and definitely he was representing a masses of uh, hindus because there has it has been contested that what what was the uh, the ideology of the previous government but yes post 2014 it has uh, increased a lot one more thing post 2019 they have aggravated their you know uh, stance post 20 uh, before 2019 uh, they were you know trying to uh, they were running a, a, a an engineered agenda but post 2019 they have aggravated their you know stance yes right 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 so who actually are part of this uh, you know nexus which are like willingly or unwillingly they are uh, you know uh, participating in this uh, anti india or anti hindu uh, narrative it could a be a very good question that you have asked or now. actors also ji 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 वैसे तो मैम इसमें लगभग मैंने करीब करीब 20 के आसपास ऐसे प्रोमिनेंट एक्टर्स आई वुड से दैट्स व्हाई आई एम यूजिंग द वर्ड प्रोमिनेंट आई हैव मेंशन सम 20 प्रोमिनेंट एक्टर्स दोस हु आर विलिंगली और अनविलिंगली पार्ट ऑफ इट अब वो डेफिनेटली जैसे इरफान हबीब ने अभी एक राम मंदिर और सॉरी राम मंदिर बोलो काशी और मथुरा के रिगार्डिंग एक स्टेटमेंट में एक्सेप्ट करा है दैट द टेंपल्स वर डिस्ट्रॉयड एंड द मॉस्क वाज बिल्ट ओवर इट so definitely i uh, i'm expecting uh, the sanity to come to their mind and uh, but yes there are some 20 i have mentioned some 20 actors but if you if you name any anti india actor anti hindu actor i can in my uh, with my you know uh, academic study or uh, with with great will i can uh, prove his uh, affiliation with the with any of the university of the united states or his connection with the united states if any single actor is there and uh, you know coming out to the organizations there are pl plenty of organizations and unfortunately i am using this word unfortunately within <laughs> within emphasis uh, our academic centers including uh, jnu to which i am part of uh, you know i am doing my phd from the jnu itself there are various uh, mous signed with with these universities our people and definitely actors those who are uh, unwillingly or willingly part of it uh, they do not know their intention i would say 
this in intention has to be taken with them. The organizations, uh, some of them are definitely, you know, uh, there is there is an organization CSI or C CSI, which uh, to which uh, Yogen the other is part of uh, part of the organization. So basically, there are certain institutions, academic institutions, uh, those who have signed various MOUs, and they do not know their intention. For example, uh, there are certain issues like women, environment, uh, on which you know people become people would like to uh, become part of such institutions because it, these uh, issues or you know these kinds of. Uh, uh, narrative points basically whether it is uh, you know beti padhao ya uh, uh, doing good good things for women appears to be you know very philanthropic but behind uh, behind their intention if we if we go behind their intention it would definitely sound and you can you can easily go through with their academic study their conclusions their uh, reports what they have you know came out with their reports if you if you go into into depth of it and with the perspective one perspective is also required you would definitely it's, find it's always biased and uh, they sort of fa falsify the you know uh, the facts also they somehow interpret it in their own uh, agenda according to their own agenda that's because sometimes we also come across uh, you know the journals of uh, uh, universities if you see their uh, published articles and especially on caste and uh, women issues uh, it's completely biased and uh, uh, facts ko bhi bilkul tor marod ke aur matlab jaise ek pehle opinion bana liya hai aur uske baad they uh, work on it aur usi tarike se chalte hain uh, yes, the thing is very strange is uh, the Indians, the Hindus, the who are uh, you know part of this, uh, jo, uh, universities mein hai, professors hai, ya aur kisi, uh, us mein hai, position mein hai. So how come like uh, you know what is their interest in it? Peddling this uh, uh, you know false uh, narrative or is is mein unka kya, what is the unka role kya hai aur kaise matlab ye foreign university it, itni safe ban gayi ki jahan par jo hai propagation of uh, you know anti hindu aur ye sab bade aaram se phal phool rahe hain to is it uh, the, ye to hame samajh mein aata hai ki government ka kahin na kahin usme wahan ki sarkar ka ya kuch geopolitics ka isme hai to what do you think uh, ye bahut interesting hai and i have gone through the book तो आप इस पे प्लीज बोलिए बताइए हमें बहुत अच्छा लगेगा जी मैम जी मैम जैसे कि मैम पहले भी मैंने अभी रिसेंटली आई हैव मेंशन दैट डेफिनेटली रिकॉग्निशन अवार्ड्स स्कॉलरशिप्स फेलोशिप्स मनी एंड रिकॉग्निशन आई वुड से इन पर्टिकुलर बिहाइंड यू नो द मोटिवेशन ऑफ सच एक्टर्स इज बेसिकली दीज आर टू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स बट यस कुछ लोग तो जानबूझ के इसका एक क्योंकि उनकी आप कह सकते हैं कि मेटरलिस्टिक थॉट प्रोसेस होता है तो वो दिस इज दी मेटरलिस्टिक थिंग दैट ड्राइव्स देम टू यू नो पेडल एंटी इंडिया एंटी हिंदू नेरेटिव्स दिस इज वन थिंग द सेकंड इज सम आर मिस इनफॉर्म्ड एज वेल अब मैं कहूं जैसे मैंने क्योंकि बुक में ऑलरेडी आई हैव मैंशनड देर देज देज एन ओ पी जिंदल सीरीज ये पूरा एक साल में एक बार होता है उसके लिए फंड भी हमारे लोग करते हैं गोदरेज करता है वो भी हमारी कंपनी हमारे देश की कंपनी है देन वी हैव यू नो महिंद्रा जो आनंद महिंद्रा है मतलब उनके से भी जाता ही है क्योंकि देवर एलुमनाइज एलुमना एलुमना ही थे एंड देर आर अदर एक्टर्स टू ये तो हो गए जो कि शायद मिस इनफॉर्म्ड है दूसरा क्या है कि सेफ प्लेस कैसा मतलब सेफ प्लेस कैसे बना है कि uh, एक तो इसका इंसेप्शन में ही मतलब यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स के अगर आइडियल्स की आप बात करेंगे उसकी डेमोक्रेसी की बात करेंगे उसका कुछ भी बात करेंगे तो वो प्यूरिटल मूवमेंट के थ्रू ही डेवलप हुआ है एंड इट इज ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ द एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ द फर्स्ट इंस्टीट्यूशन दैट इज द हार्वर्ड विच वॉज बेसिकली डेवलप इन ऑर्डर टू ट्रेन क्लियरजी एंड चर्च ऑफिशल्स वेरी इंसेप्टन आप जो रूट्स हैं हम बोलते हैं कि बोया पेड़ बबूल का तो फल काहे उगेगा <laughs> एक फ्रेज इतना सिंपल सा है तो ऑब्वियसली जो जिस इंस्टीट्यूशन को इंस्टीट्यूशन को बनाया एज अ सेमी चर्च 
तो दैट वुड डेफिनेटली एक्ट एज अ चर्च और सेमी चर्च ये एक पॉइंट है और इसी वजह से ये सेफ प्लेस बना हुआ है और डेफिनेटली देर आर अदर एक्टर्स टू इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स वो जियो उसके लिए रीजंस हैं या अपनी कल्चरल हेजमनी मेंटेन करने के लिए या मनी पावर भी इन्वॉल्व मनी पावर इज डेफिनेटली इन्वॉल्व आप देखते हो कि जैसे कोई यूएस का अभी मैं वैसे मेरा थीसिस में भी इसमें आएगा और एक और बुक है उसमें भी चीजें आने वाली हैं रशिया यूक्रेन वॉर के टाइम इतना एंटी इंडिया जो क्योंकि इंडिया वॉज हेडिंग दैट सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल देर वॉज मैसिव फ्लडियड नरेटिव यू नो आर्टिकल आर्टिकल्स एंड अदर रिपोर्ट्स यू नो केम इन टू बींग वेन रशिया यूक्रेन वॉज वॉर वॉज टेकिंग प्लेस so that is why there are these are certain reason but one of the important and the significant reason is the establishment of the puritan movement over there ji right right or i think uh, uh, ye uh, russia ukraine war ke time mein jo india ka stand jo tar raha hai aur uh, jo wahan se russian oil ka ho raha hai that also played <laughs> excuse me yes, so yes. ab uh, what is the solution jo hai agar hum india ke context mein dekhe मैम वेरी गुड सोल्यूशन है सोल्यूशन तो आई एम ऑल्सो लुकिंग इन टू इट बट येस डेफिनेटली इन माई परस्पेक्टिव आई हैव मैंशन इन दी कंक्लूजन ऑफ द बुक वट शुड वट कुड बी दी सोल्यूशन ऑफ सच यू नो इंडिया एक तो हमने खुद के नरेटिव अपना हम कई बार काउंटर भी करते हैं बट डेफिनेटली इट वॉज मैंशन ड्यूरिंग लॉन्च बाय अरुण आनंद जी एज वेल दैट हमें खुद अपने नेरेटिव एस्टेब्लिश करने चाहिए और हमारे नेरेटिव क्या होंगे वो तय करना चाहिए पॉजिटिव जो ऐसे इवेंट्स हैं पॉजिटिव जो कि वहाँ पे प्रोग्राम्स हो रहे हैं वेदर इट इज दिवाली होली और अदर काइंड ऑफ यू नो पॉजिटिव थिंग्स दैट शुड ऑल्सो भी दैट दैट शुड ऑल्सो बिकम पार्ट ऑफ द नेरेटिव यू नो गेम Uh, and uh, they they will definitely you know do not highlight uh, such uh, such you know positive steps but definitely it is our duty to take it with the media intellectuals think tanks and other kind of you know individuals the second important part which should be uh, which should uh, you know be started as soon as possible is to take it with the uh, academia intellectuals industrialists other and other members those who are part those who engage with united states in any possible way because the, if they you know get to know the very intention of such movement they would definitely uh, would be able to deal with you know such kind of uh, game or ploy which is being taking place across the globe yes uh, i was saying that uh, is this bias uh, only limited to india or russia or it is more uh... yes ma'am so ma'am <laughs> pehli baat to isme aapko bata dun ki puritans जो ये एक मैंने आई कंपेयर दम विद जिहादिस ग्रुप्स सो बेसिकली क्या होता है कई सारे जो हम जिहादिस ग्रुप देखते हैं आप देखते हैं तालिबान है उसका एंटी इंडिया एंटी वीमेन और भी तरह के उसके अपने नेगेटिव एक स्टैंड होते हैं बट रेडिकल भी उनको कहते हैं कंजर्वेटिव भी कहते हैं लेकिन उन, उनके अगेंस्ट भी एक ग्रुप है रीजन कुछ भी हो सकता है ऐसे क्या है कि ये जो पिरिटन्स भी हैं इनकी भी आपस में लड़ाइयाँ रही हैं वर्कर्स के साथ फैमिली ग्रुप है उनके साथ रही हैं तो बेसिकली ये मतलब इनके इंटरेस्ट जिससे मैच नहीं करते तो उनके खिलाफ तो खड़े होते ही हैं और पर्टिकुलरली इन पर्टिकुलर इफ इफ आई वुड से रशिया एंड ईस्ट सिविलाइजेशन रशिया ईस्ट सिविलाइजेशन एंड ऑब्वियसली द इंडिजिनियस वंस दे आर द टारगेट्स ऑफ द पिरुटन्स एंड दे वुड डेफिनेटली नॉट गोइंग टू स्टॉप अंटिल दे यू नो क्रिएट अ क्रिश्चनाइज वर्ल्ड and in that case if they are not able to christianize the world they are they are they are just you know trying to uh, do, you know playing this uh, evil plot ploy so that is why you know such things are happening ji i think it is a wonderful information that you have given about your book and uh, i must encourage everyone to you know uh, have it buy it and read it yes, all yes, those yes. who want to know all those who want to know what is hap- what is happening in us universities and how it is influencing the narrative and uh, the uh, system here i think they must all read it uh, thank you so much rahul ji for your time and uh, it was a wonderful and insightful discussion 
and uh, would like to have some more discussions on your forthcoming. I uh, congratulate you for this book and uh, all the best for the upcoming, uh, for your next uh, venture. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Thank Rahul you so much. Thank you so Thank much. You.